Hi everyone, this is Livia from Lightspeed. I'd like to welcome you to the new Lightspeed Analytics. We've updated the interface to make analytics easier to navigate and easier to take direct action using the data that is available to you. Let me show you what I mean. When you access Lightspeed Analytics, you'll notice the navigation on the left-hand side has been streamlined. Now you can either click on the square icon to view all of the dashboards or the report symbol to view reports. The gear icon has remained the same and it's where you can configure your inventory and set goals. I've clicked on the square icon to take a look at the dashboards. We've consolidated all of the dashboards into one page. You can choose at the top of the page which kind of dashboard you'd like to look at. If you have multiple locations, you can select which ones you'd like to focus on by clicking on locations in the top right hand side. Don't forget to click apply so you can reload the data. If you want to learn more about some of the common terminology used in Lightspeed Analytics, you can expand the glossary on the top right and click on a term you want to know more about. Each one of the tiles in the dashboards is drillable, so you can click on the insight you want to dive into. For this example, let's take a look at weekly category sales. If you click on the tile, you'll be able to break down this information by completed date, completed hour, or drill further to see sales by item or by brand. Within this modal, you can isolate information you are interested in. For example, you can isolate a particular brand. And you have the option to view the information as a visualization or graph. You can also view this information as a table and download the results that you see. Or click on Explore to further customize the information you see in this table. The different tiles will have different kinds of actions that are available for you to explore, so I would encourage you to investigate each one to see what they're capable of. I'm going to click on the Reports icon on the left-hand side. Now the reports all live under one section, and you can choose which type of report you'd like to explore. If I click on Employee Performance, it will show me all of the reports that fall under that section. You can use filters to tailor what kinds of reports you're looking for. You can now filter by category, and you can have multiple filters applied at the same time. You can also filter by report type. Are you looking for a custom report or a pre-built one? Additionally, you can filter by creator if you know the person who created that report that you're looking for. Of course, you can always search for the name of the report if you know it. On the reports page, you can sort to organize the reports by clicking on the name of the columns. So I could sort by category and click on it. You can also sort by date created, by creator, and so on. You can also see a short explanation about the report next to its name. If you click on the question mark icon next to the report, that will open up a new page with a detailed explanation about the report. There's a lot of useful information here and I'd recommend that you take a look. Finally, if you wanna open up the report, simply click on its name. If you have reports that you look at on a regular basis, you can click on the star icon on the left-hand side and bookmark it. Clicking on the star icon will place the report at the top of the page. On this page, there are two ways to create a custom report. If you see a report that you would like to customize on this main page, look to the right where it says action and click create new reports. We can also see options by popular variations of reports. So I can see dusty inventory by top level category or by vendor. If I have multiple locations, I could pivot by shop. The other way to create a custom report is to go to the top right-hand side 
and click on Create Custom Report. This is a really handy guide because it will inform you as to what kinds of metrics are available on this report. Once you've clicked on your choice, you can head on into the report and customize it further. Those topics are covered in more videos in the Video Help Center, which you can access by clicking Help in the bottom left-hand corner, and then Help Videos. Those are the updates to Lightspeed Analytics. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more resources on Lightspeed Analytics here in the Video Help Center and also in the Reporting and Analytics section in the Lightspeed Community Forums.